What is going on, everybody? Tiny Mason 321 here. We are back again with some more Anori content. And before I even start this video, make sure to um subscribe to my Twitch channel. Well, not subscribe. Follow my Twitch channel because I'm going to be streaming Good Gear Strive literally after this reaction around 10 o'clock. So stay tuned for that. And um, also, I got the go ahead from Webtoons themselves that I can be doing reactions like these like you can see on screen make sure to um like you know get this word around because these are like guidelines that people have to follow so that's just my bit <laughs> so last week's chapter was it was pretty interesting like with everything that like really happened i honestly think arlo is gonna change as a person and they're dealing with all that <laughs> and they're dealing with all that crap i think arlo is seriously just gonna sit here and just change as a person like hearing the authorities have been behind their back killing superheroes like killed his best friend of all things then we are seeing like a potential partnership with sarah and leah which was like pretty which was pretty interesting then towards the ending we got Elaine screen time and we see how Arlo like reacted to that he was like look it's fine just patch me up because I think she was will talk about the call authorities and Arlo stopped her and that mess was like legit perfect bro like real talk it was like perfect perfect so without further ado let me hop right into this chapter episode 218 Wilson Private High School Headmaster's office Is this the last of it? Oh damn Blake <laughs> Oh shit I forgot about that <laughs> yeah, Yes sir An ability amplifier Where do you get your hands on something like this? The truth is I, I have been leaving the school at night To pursue criminals in low tier districts I found these on one of the criminals and didn't know what to do with them. So I just kept them. Yeah, yo, man. At least he was being honest with it. Hmm. Vigilantism. Do you realize the amount of danger you put yourself in? Uh, Ember is out there trying to eliminate people like you. S sir, I know it was really stupid. <laughs> I wasn't in my right mind. I already quit and I'll never do it again, I swear. Lie again. Like, look, 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 I'm saying this right now, I'm saying this right now. Like, in like 10 to 15, in like 10 to 15 chapters, like, Black is gonna go back to vigilantism. Like, I already see it happening. Like, I legit see it happening, because you can't just leave us off with Kuyo like that. Like, you just can't. Please don't expel me! <laughs> Yo, I, I, like, I like the spinel right here. Have your identity been discovered by anyone? I, uh... This has been our first sighting, new vigilante sighting in a long time. Nobody was spotted wearing a dark gray hoodie. You seem to have red hair with some kind of propulsion ability. Like, for your safety, you need to tell me. Uh... During my encounter, some bystanders managed to get footage of me. And it was broadcasted on the news. Hmm? Yo, I feel like after all this shit, like, Vaughn is about to lock down. Like, he's about to lock down on students after all this mess. They got a description of me, but the footage was pretty blurry. So I don't think anyone would be able to tell unless they knew me personally. Oh, I wouldn't count on that. Quite the mess you gotten yourself into, Blake. I'm... Sorry. <sighs> I glad you own it to everything, and I appreciate your honesty, but regardless, I can't let you off for seeking dangerous substances in the school and digging yourself like this. Yes, sir, I understand. I'll accept whatever punishment comes my way. But I do have one request. It's gonna be a safe house. I already see it. Oh? To say the safe house is very shaky after what happened on Friday. Yep! <laughs> And I don't know, and I don't want to put too much pressures on Remy alone. I know it's a lot to ask, but would it be possible to delay the punishment until things stabilize? 
You care about this club quite a bit. I think it's something Wilson needed a long time. Realization! Thank you, people! And people are gonna be like, oh, John being that's the only reason why he realized. But at least he realizes it. That's that's the point I'm trying to get here. And it's a shame we only came up with the idea just now. Hmm. Very well then. Yo, Vaughn is the homie though. Like real talk, we need to put some more respect on Vaughn's name. Like <laughs> he's just like like most most professors and most principals be like, yeah, you're getting suspended. Like, no, this man is like, we need this for the safe house. I'll grant your request. Take care of the safe house. Uh, really? Thank you, sir. Phew. How'd it go? <laughs> kind of weird, but way better than I expected. Do. Do they have different clothes? Because last time we seen this little outfit was season one. When Trio Trouble happened. My punishment is still pending, but he agreed to let me help. Let me fix up the club. Ow! Hey, you're not mad at me. I mean, I feel like Remy wouldn't be mad at him. Like, she literally said herself like she was scared. For what? Okay, um... Before this animation comes out, I'm just gonna say this right now. That is a good-ass shot right there. Because I promised I wouldn't do anything stupid, but then I went and brought those amplifiers to school. If anything, I'm mad at myself for not realizing how much this was eating eating at you. You're already strong. You don't need amplifiers to prove anything. I'm... I, there's some accountability here, but... I think because John is so, like, freaking busted... That I think that was Blake's only option. Like, when it comes to Black, it's just like, I need to get stronger to protect everybody that I care about. And being that John's right there, just like, nope. It, it kind of is the only option. Like, I mean, I'm I'm okay with Mary taking some partial responsibility of it. So, that's just me. Yeah. Sir, we're going to have some trouble on our hands. No surprise, of course. First raid, then Seraphina, John, and now Blake. <laughs> Damn! With Wilson being the root of so many problematic high rankers, as Dory's are sure to have questions for us. Damn, he's right, though! Ray died. Seraphina got caught with an ordinary and lost her ability. John caused a rampage on the school and already had an encounter with the authorities and Blake with his vigilantism. Ah, damn. <laughs> Yo, shit's about to get real. So, I think the whole Ember Inspector fight in Season 2 is really going to come into fruition sometime soon. Real talk. With all this talk they having right now, man. <laughs> so what do you plan to do? Right now, Blake is my biggest worry. I like the way he thinks, so I don't want the authorities interfering with his development. Let's go, Vaughn! <laughs> but with his footage, with footage of his vigilantism filling around, I'm afraid it won't be long before they come asking for him. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this kind of brings up the question. So does the Doherty, I mean not the Doherty, so does Vaughn know that Dorities are working with em, our Ember pretty much? Because he said he doesn't want the Doherty to interfere with him, but I can think of like two things. Like the first thing being like the same situation with Anori with Serafina. No, three situations. Because my first thought is like when it comes to vigilantism, like the first thing that comes to mind is an ordinary, so if Vaughn thinks that they're going to come to him and they figure out who he is, then that could be a problem. But then the second thing I want to state is, if they do know it's Blake, then it's going to be like, they're going to come out to school and ask for him specifically. So they might take him, make him take those um classes. 
then the third thing is like is it gonna be like the same situation with like Ember? Is like Ember gonna really pull up and like if they like you know know who he is? Because with that footage, it's it's kind of like sorry if I'm not making sense right now. Like with the footage, it's kind of like you don't know who he is unless you personally know him. But the thing is, Black has had an encounter with Ember before because all he knows is. Just, He's a sniper. And he, when he dealt with Vulcan before, he sniped her. And if Valerie works with the authorities, and if Valerie is Vulcan, then she's going to put two two together with the stuff they got on the um, broadcast. It'd be like, wait a second. That kid looks familiar. That kid's ability looks familiar. Then there's a possibility they could connect that to Wilston being specifically black since the ability is right there. And it's, oh my fucking god, I had a fucking breaking ass when thinking about that. It's going to be difficult to get him out of this one. It real talk is. But that also brings this up too. So is it possible they could question Remy too? Because if Blight, their footage of Blight, and if Valerie is right there, is Vulcan, and she dealt with Remy. So that means she can put two two together. Oh, fuck. So I think I think I I think I know what's gonna happen. I think either Valerie's gonna pull up with Keon and Nadia. Oh fuck, when the Dory's pull up. Oh sh Yo, shit might actually get crazy. Because if Valerie pulls up with Keon and Nadia, then things are gonna be so much worse. Then that could lead to Arlo pulling up. Then Arlo's gonna have some questions for his aunt. And since He's a kind of like a comp. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I think I'm going too deep with this, but if we think about it, I think everything that's gonna happen here is gonna lead up to that whole thing. And with that thing happening, and Seraphina's team up with um, Spectre to get her ability back, as stated last episode. <laughs> So I think the door is gonna come in, and I think Spectre's gonna pull in and do some mess like oh my god, the war of Wilson is about to happen. There are also the issue of these. Can you have Darren take a look at this? Any information he can provide would be useful. Dude, I went on my freaking prediction dairy tangent. I haven't been on one of those in a minute. Infirmary. Sorry, but that's not part of my job description. I'm a school nurse for fuck's sake. <laughs> Yeah, but I thought you liked this kind of stuff. Didn't you say you'd be back in the university? Ugh. What the hell does that man expect me to do? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if he addresses it here. Because he knows Serafina lost their ability. So I'm wondering if we're gonna put two and two together. I don't have a lab, and I'm supposed to use my stethoscope <laughs> on it? Well, you can submit a ticket and request funding for equipment, and you're missing my point. Look, if you ask me, Vaughn should be worrying about improving the state of the school instead of pouring in research into the end like some unknown substance. Uh, I can't stand the way he runs this place. Okay, so I'll just leave it, he leave this here, and you take a look at it when you get a chance. <laughs> so he didn't bring it up. Okay, 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 so then... Huh, I wonder why Iru, Iru didn't put this in this chapter, because I'm... I'm thinking about it right now, like... Why do you... You think Dot would be more interested in it? You know, since his girlfriend is pretty much Layla... And... A Seraphine's ability to disable, and there's a ability amplifier right there... So, so there's the possibility he could like get some clues on to how to make a way to get Seraphina's ability back. Like, like it, 
the stuff is right there. It's just, oh my goodness. I feel like she didn't include that for a reason, but at the same time, just like, bruh, you should've included that. You heard what happened last week, right? John took the safe house. Blake was the only one defending it, apparently, and he got completely demolished. I guess it's not as safe as they say. Yeah, I heard from I heard a ton of in the critting right afterward. Bro, John really sat here and destroyed a safe house, bruh. That's a bummer. Seemed like it was doing pretty well. <sighs> hey, morning, Remy. Morning. Compared to before, there's hardly anyone here. Wait, is that Arlo? <laughs> I'm ready, bro. Because Arlo said he didn't want to take part in this like like a while back, and he's back. I think I might get some character development here, and I'm a sucker for this shit. Oh, let's let's fucking go. Rock bottom by Uwu Chan. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Rock bottom. We seen this book before. We seen this book before. And I think Serafina was. I think Serafina was the one that was reading it. I think Serafina was the one that was reading it. I'm trying to remember what chapter that was. What? That was like the beginning of season two. I'm trying to remember what chapter it was. I don't know what chapter that was. But I remember seeing that book. And I'm pretty sure Serafina had it. This was like the start of season two. Because that was somewhere around the lines after Serafina like found out John's ability. Was that the beginning of the safe house arc? Arlo? I didn't expect to see you here. I had some time to kill, so I came by. I see. Well, thanks for coming. Bro. Arlo can see, like, the... <laughs> the hurt... The hurt and heart in their eyes, bro. Hey, are you okay? We lost a lot of members, but that's just how things work. If I promise to save space for students, but I'm not able to spend it when it get attacked then it really isn't a safe space. I'll say that out for an end. I've been thinking about a lot about what you said, how it might be overcommitting to something that won't work, and maybe, maybe you were right. Maybe I was really being too optimistic. No, forget everything I said. Wait, 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 huh? This is all just a minor setback, so don't give up. You need to be strong now. Bro, what is this? <laughs> what is this ending of the anime shit, bro? <laughs> what? Bro, the light coming from the back? <laughs> like, what? what is this shit? <laughs> bro, this is not the end of season two yet. Come on, bro. <laughs> you make it seem like the character is about to die or something. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean, when they do this shit, and like, literally within like, the next three to four episodes, they like, over here die and stuff. Like, this is what the vibe I'm getting from this shit. <laughs> huh? What would the change of add to? Did something happen to him? The safe house took a hit. But people are here because they still need this club. So don't think about what you lost, and focus on what you wanted to do in the first place. Yo! Arlo's been in facts right now. That's all anyone can ask for. Bruh. Hey. We got that character development. Damn, I went on my 
I went on my tangent earlier, so I, that made this video hella long, real talk. So the beginning was diff hit different because he was talking about um the drugs and stuff, and I didn't think that was going to happen like so early. But I didn't expect Vaughn to be like, yeah, like you're, you're free to help out like safe house. I didn't expect that to happen. I expect him to be like most principal, but Vaughn's like a chill, like chill principal, bruh. The second, the second part really hit different because this is when I went on my tangent. So I think the authorities are going to pull up. I think Spectre is going to pull up somewhere soon. Like, I'm just thinking like how this I think that might be like mid season finale situation right there. Because if you think about it, Spectre got into it with Seraphine and John. Then Remy Black and Eisen. And with the door is gonna be possibly be on Black's ass. And when they had the tracker in Wellston, brush. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. Dad, I'm surprised Doc wasn't like, "Hey, Serafina lost their ability, so let me help out on this." Like he just like Ugh. being Doc and then. The ending with the safe house, bro, that, that meant, the, Arlo's right, the safe house did take a blow, it, they really did take a blow like that, but it's just a setback, though. Like, if you get knocked down, you get back up even harder than before. Then Arlo at the end, bro, Arlo's character filming was, like, really packing a punch, but that's just my opinion. I might do, like, an in-depth review video later if I'm not too busy playing Strive. Which again, subscribe to not subscribe, this is not YouTube. Follow my Twitch. Follow my Twitch so you guys can be there for that. Cause I'm inching away from like streaming on YouTube and just streaming on Twitch. Like the podcast's gonna be on YouTube as usual, but gameplay wise everything gonna be on Twitch now. And highlights are gonna be on like the gaming channel, so with that stated, hope you guys enjoyed that video. <sighs> I know this video is long and be a pain in the ass to edit. Good golly gee, 22 minutes. So hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I'm definitely pulling out more Webtoon content soon. Since I got to go ahead. <laughs> um, question of the week is, um, what do you think is going to happen? Given that the Dories may know who Blake is, and Spectre already know who Blake is, like, what do you think will happen here? I want to hear y'all thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And, um, yeah. See you guys in my next video. Or if you come into the stream tonight, see y'all then. Peace out.